Welcome to the New Mexico Museum of Space History. Our mission is to educate the people of New Mexico and our visitors from around the world in the history, science, and technology of space. In this segment, we look at a unique space traveler, a chimpanzee named Ham. The United States launched its first astronaut on January the 31st, 1961. Sitting in a Mercury capsule atop an eight-story redstone rocket at Cape Canaveral, Florida, Ham, born in Cameroon, Central Africa, was launched for a mission scheduled to reach 115 miles in altitude. A booster malfunction, however, burned the fuel five seconds faster than planned. Five seconds doesn't seem like much time, but the control system automatically reacted by igniting the escape tower. The tower attached to the capsule instead rocketed ham to 157 miles in altitude faster than 5,000 miles per hour. The greater altitude resulted in a far different re-entry trajectory, which caused Ham to splash down 122 miles off course. Incredibly, he survived a re-entry deceleration of nearly 15 times the force of gravity. For nearly two hours, the chimpanzee bobbed in his capsule in choppy waters. The turbulence shredded the mercury capsule's flotation device. Fortunately, Ham was secured inside what was known as a form-fitting couch, which was pressurized. So why send a chimp to space first? Flight surgeons worried whether a sentient being would be able to function physiologically or mentally in a weightless environment. A difference in scientific theories is normal. In this instance, the theory was that in weightlessness, the heart would not adequately pump blood, resulting in a brain that then wouldn't properly function. Death might even result. The sole way to find out was to train primates to perform tasks and then launch them into space. Chimps are considered the smartest of animals and with color vision and with opposable thumbs can perform tasks equal to a human being. Several chimps were trained. They were taught tasks that included, for example, pulling a red lever when they saw a red light and a white lever in response to a white light. When the chimps pulled the correct lever, they were rewarded with a treat such as a banana pellet. An incorrect response resulted in a gentle shock administered through metal plates attached to their feet. Ultimately, Ham was chosen for the first flight. Ham's original name was Chang, but was changed to an acronym that reflected where he was trained, the Holloman Aero Medical Facility, or HAM, at Holloman Air Force Base in Alamogordo, New Mexico. If Ham correctly carried out his tasks in the weightless environment, then the United States would launch the first man into space. Alan Shepard was the astronaut slated for that mission. Fortunately, and in spite of the malfunction, Ham performed well and his 15-minute flight was considered a success. However, because NASA engineers needed time to figure out the booster glitch, Shepard's flight was delayed. In the interim, the Soviet Union launched the first man into space, Yuri Gagarin. Subsequently, the second chimpanzee, Enos, flew an orbital mission prior to John Glenn becoming the first American to orbit Earth. Ham flew just the one mission and lived out the rest of his life as a hero. He died on January the 18th, 1983, at the North Carolina Zoological Park. His organs were removed for autopsy in comparison to earthbound chimps. His remains were then returned to Alamogordo for burial at the New Mexico Museum of Space History. His marker on the museum grounds reads, Ham proved mankind could live and work in space. Research on humans in space did not end with Ham and Enos. It continued with the Skylab space station, Space Lab aboard the space shuttle, and today on the International Space Station. Thanks for watching and participating in this fun video produced by the Education Department at the New Mexico Museum of Space History. We hope one day you have the opportunity to come visit us in Alamogordo, New Mexico. And be sure to check out our website at nmspacemuseum.org.